Well, hello there, everyone. You're here to talk about right here. I talk about for Adobe uh, Acrobat Distiller right here. And uh, to me, that sounds a lot like I stating to where that, you know, I kind of like a, a three in one at, you know, type of future, though. But, you know, still, it, it seems like to me that it's like a, it, it's kind of like an extension. If we all probably know what extension is, right? And it's just another way of, of how you want to call it, like uh, for more advanced features and Another way, if you want to call it, cause is toward a uh, yeah, you know more of that that you know, you have more of accessibility. You know, if that's the type of word that you want to give it as well. But you have right here talk about right here are the standards right here, and so if you're going to be uh, working with any sort of a, a postscript document or PDF file, it sure seems that way. That uh, when we think about that these settings right here, that uh, see these settings right here, and it use these settings. Uh, for you know to create a high quality PDF documents that's suitable for a delighted viewing experience and printing for business. So it sure seems that way that you know, yeah you know, you would actually uh, use a distiller if you were get if it was already um like if you already had a a document that was uh, ready for printing or if you just want to verify uh, that uh, you know, what that settings that are available what what options are available it sounds like i'm like yeah to me though that, that these options would be to where if you were just looking around and see uh, what options uh, and opportunities that were available right and uh so that's why it's like yeah whenever i click on these different options here and talk about for images right here but one thing that we can also keep in mind that whenever we're going to be uh working with the distiller you know distilled document though is that the, the pixels and um if we all could see this right here it's like the, the pixel you know the pixels uh, per inch right here the down sample right here so it sure seems that way that uh, that whenever you have the things that we do see uh whenever we're getting ready to print something out that it seems like that it's all about you know, just looking at uh, at that poster you by design like oh yeah you know, you're just looking at those those images and anything else uh, that's going to be uh, on that, that document, right? But then uh, you may not be able to see all these other settings right here. Talk about the, the pixels per inch and then also that what the, the bleed standards and, and uh, what the other you know, sorts of measurements and settings are. So that's why it sure seems that way that, um, that whenever we look at these right here, top of our dance line sampling too and, and automatic right here, compression and then also image quality right here so you have these different settings right here but it sure seems that way you're like yeah you for the you have access to for the editing your pdf file editing so this right here and, and i know that um we might even think that too to where that you know we're talking about any sort of pdf file document right and uh, like all the other you know everybody else might even say that you know, you would maybe see a lot of this, but you still at uh, what you know, this uh, this right here would, if anything, would be recommended that if you're trying to print something out, you know, if you're trying to print off a uh, print it on actual printing paper or you know, something like that, or trying to build on top of a project, and so it sure seems that way that uh, when we uh, speak about distiller, that um, you likely want to know too that yeah, well, really, would the uh, with distiller, can you really use it to, yeah, for verification or for anything uh, such as like uh, you have right here, your top of for fonts right here, and uh, so you can select, select the, the font and then bit you turn uh, on the, the type fonts right here, and then uh, the color standards right here, so to leave color unchanged. So it sure seems that way that um, that each time we think about uh, a PDF file document, right, the portable document file. It seems like to me that um, that, that there is uh, a lot more to it than rather just if you go ahead and open up a document file and let's just say that document right there is just going to be what you call this uh, standard um, file, right, to where you can actually look at it. But I guess it seems like the question kind of goes by to where that, that there's anything else that, that, that you would have. Uh, need to do with that file such as if you're trying to make copies or maybe if you're trying to uh, you know like yeah you know, anything about modifying the document or maybe compressing a file or if anything if it is uh, 
really to finding any source of transparency or anything like that in that in that file. And uh, so it sure seems that way that uh, that each time we think about distiller, that uh, it's like or acrobat that um, I'm like, yeah, yeah, it's it's pretty much the same thing, but you know, still that. Uh, but when we talk about a PDF file, though, uh, that uh, we're not just talking about this, uh, you know, document here that could be opened and viewed, right? We're also talking about is that uh, that what happens next? And it seems like to me that it's like a lot of times what I usually see, though, is that, uh, you know, what happens next after we go ahead and save, you know, after we go ahead and, and create a new project or if we want to go ahead and create a duplicated project and then we go ahead and, and uh, save our changes and then we go ahead and go back and see what was edited and what was modified on it. So, so it sure seems that way that, uh, that each time we use uh, Distiller or each time we even use Acrobat or maybe Encopy that um, they, you know, people uh, would probably say that you know one way of how you can be able to do the job is just by is to where you can just tell uh, the you know, tell the business is that you know, these are the changes that I made to this document right here and that th these are the performances and then uh, you know, provide that information on uh, any source of transcript and um, so that way they can tell what changes that you made so it sure seems that way that um, that when uh, we're talking about uh, distiller that we're also talking about is to where the yeah that uh, the, you know, the information that needs to be uh, rendered and calculated that you know, just to be able to tell uh, what changes that were made uh, from the original. So like I people might think too that yeah, well, so that way you won't hurt the original or for any reason that um, that that you would need to do some verification background check such as about the file that uh, the original file could have been set for read only. There could be there could have been maybe some security uh, you know, measurements also and uh, other things that uh, you know I have to keep in mind too about whenever it comes to uh, you know using distiller but you know still that um, but one thing I did want to talk about right here of uh, the pixels per inch so if I were to select one of these right here and you know the average uh, the down sampling two and then the sampling two so if I were to just select one of these and then uh, it goes from uh, yeah so you can set the, the pixels per inch right here and um, so yeah so th these right here I guess uh, you know, yeah the CCITT group 4 right here and it goes to so, so yeah the compression the, the yeah I'll ask it, you know, to, to gray off and so these are the settings right here top of for colored images right here so at the time, it sure seems that way that, you know, yeah, for for images above. So it's like, yeah, the grayscale images. So that this right here is the editing uh, settings right here. But it sure seems that way that, uh, like everybody else might even say, that uh, whenever you first uh, get used to using Acrobat and Distiller, that uh, you may have thought that PDF, okay? Well, PDF is supposed to stand for the partner document, you know, you know, verification or something like that, or that you're the partner document, but no, 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 the portable document. But everybody else might be a 102. That for what they see on here, a lot of these settings right here, that uh, how come it can't just stand for, yeah, you know, the, the small uh, file? I'm like, yeah, you know, for any name that you really want to give uh, the file type, really. But at the time, it's like whenever you were first introduced to. Uh, how the PDF uh, attachments and everything all work, though, and uh, you're warned to word it. Yeah, well, you know the first thing that you probably um, saw whenever you first start working on any source of project was the fact that you can read the document. You can open it up and you can actually read uh, the document, right? And um, if you could actually zoom in and zoom out and then maybe print a copy, and that's really all what you were really using it for. You weren't really... Uh, using it to maybe change it convert it to black and white to maybe a cmyk color compression or high quality print compression or anything like that you were mainly trying to look at it and so it sure seems that way that when we think about distiller that uh like uh 
we all might even say too that whenever you first heard about the distiller that the, you may have thought to where that that meant to where that, that you know the page you know is supposed to freeze it's supposed to be like a uh, it's supposed to be like a software program where you can actually take still screenshots of uh, those images but it sounds like to me that it's more you know, to do on a PDF file and um, so half the time I, I really don't know if that's maybe what everybody else could have maybe been thinking about whenever you were first or whenever you first heard about the program that um, you probably thought that to where it meant the freeze screenshots to be exported you know, for for camera view or something like that but at the same time you know it's like whenever you look more into it and I want to know that yeah I will really that uh, if you were to actually distill a file that it seems like that it's like it's giving you more options and um, so this right here, yeah, this right here, you know, save PDF file settings inside PDF file. So yeah, if you um, were to need to make any changes to a project, or if you're trying to share with the client or anything else that you're doing, it sure seems that way that, the, yeah, well, PDF files. PDF files should be these uh, type standard files, right, to where, that where people can see and read uh, what is it that they're describing and uh so it sure seems that way that whenever if, if somebody is asking to get a copy of something and let's just say if it's maybe um if they're just needing uh just copy for verification purposes or maybe if you ask you to go ahead and, and compress or maybe create a zip folder for a lot of those pdf files and it, it seems like that yeah that you know really that um so a lot of this information right here, as I'm sure a lot of experts would even say too, that, uh, that uh, you know, whenever you're looking at a PDF file, that uh, what you actually are looking at is that, uh, you know, yeah, the front desk of a PDF file. <laughs> but you might say, well, that's, that, that's the manager. You're know, like, yeah, you have these different options right here, but at the same time, it's like, uh, you know, yeah, allow PostScript X objects and... Uh, so it's like um, th this right here is like the standard principle of uh, Acrobat, and uh, if you want to kind of look at it that way. But on the other hand, too, that uh, if you were to use Distiller for any reason at all, that uh, it sure seems that way. That uh, that yeah, you know, whenever you first were introduced to it, you know, whenever you first heard about it, that you probably thought, if anything, that you know, you weren't using it very much, but some might even say that um that you thought if anything for screenshot viewing if you were like yeah if you were a tech supporter and if you had a, a couple of clients that were telling you about any problems with any of the programs or anything like that but but it sure seems that way that when we talk about pdf file documents a lot of times that one thing that i did notice a lot of times was actually about how to yeah about how to duplicate a file, and that's usually, I mean, that, and that's pretty simple of how to do that, too. If there's anybody uh, who's needing a copy of something, or if they're wanting you to, uh, you know, use it, that same file format, and maybe export it into, or you open it up in Acrobat, and any other further, um, you know, advanced, you know, actions, or any, you know, for any purpose like that, but, but it sure seems that way, that, um, that when we talk about the distiller, though, that uh, I had this set right here for, yeah, the highest I th it goes, I think, is is 8.0 of your PDF. Uh, so looking at these uh, options right here, and uh, you're warned toward it, um, that, yeah, you, know, you may not even use all these features, but let's just say if you're getting in, if you are opening up a distiller, and let's just say that if there's a, a, a file type in there, and let's just say that, yeah, you know, maybe if it was set incorrectly or if you had to go in there and do any uh, editing and like uh, all the other professionals might even say too that um that when you first heard about it that uh, you actually were trying to make copies you know you're trying to get a copy made of something important and uh that's why it seemed like that uh, you would see all these other settings and buttons and switches whichever but at the time it's like yeah well really that uh, by the standard basic as to where if you're going to begin in distiller, you know, use it properly. And um, knowing about what uh, 
right? the, the options right here do typical studies, right? Anyway, uh, I talk about.